Conversations, Conversations with, with S.D. Booker. Booker. Yes, I agree. They're learning the family business, but at the same time, they're being able to be children. How many children are able to just run and play outside? How many children can ride their bike? I mean, I spent hours and hours and hours riding my bike as a child. Man, I would, you know, and just imagine and you're doing this and, you right. know, it's just like, right. where is that? The, the creativity is missed. It's gone because they're not given room to be creative anymore. So, you know, I think that that's really where it's going to start again is, is building a strong dynamic, working together. Because again, if a man and woman are working together property, properly, there's unlimited energy. There's no oh. block. There's unlimited potential and energy for that family. Oh, yeah, I agree. And I, I think one of the reasons, you know, as people, we can make excuses and point fingers. But I think one of the major reasons um, the family is out of sync is because we don't want to sacrifice. Uh, yeah. As far as cost of living, uh, like we have to look at it like what's most important. Like, do I really need this five bedroom home, or can I downsize to where, um, you know, my spouse doesn't have to work, or can work from home, or maybe take less money doing something where she's at home, but we're comfortable. And we're sacrificing for the for the children. Absolutely. A lot, of, a lot of times we put ourselves in situations. We got we got four cars, four vehicles, got a huge home. We got this other stuff going on. Both people have to work because of these things, and the kids suffer. So I think it's right. about sacrificing. Yeah, I, I really do. I think it's about sacrificing. Yeah. Yeah, it, you know, you're right about that that those things become a burden. And it's like, um, I've lived in a tent with seven children and that's the most fun thing I've ever done. We did it for a year and a half, no electricity, you know, just, I mean, it, it was, it was just fun. We'd go down to the river and scrub our clothes on the, on the rocks. And, and I'm telling you, my children that they say from, from, I mean, all these years, they're saying that was the best time of their life. Wow. Wow, I believe so that. is it is it sacrifice or is it that we are not being creative? There you go. I mean, you can go look at this small house movement. I think it's the coolest thing there ever was. I do too. They're using yeah. shipping containers and making them into houses. And it's like, man, yeah. <laughs> you don't need all this money. You, you really don't. But you and, know, and but so you know, your children, if your children build with you, like like when we lived up there, then we eventually cut trees off of our property, took them down to the um, next door neighbor who had a sawmill. He cut them into lumber and us and the children built by hand a little geodesic dome. It was the, oh, it was so much fun, you know? Wow. And so, you know, doing things together, it's like, that's, that's an education that nothing can replace. At they all. need to feel like they're part of, they're part of the success. They're part of the family. That's what's going to build strong men and women. And today, those children, unschooled, never having curriculums, went out and took on the world and have their own successful, you know, businesses. And they're all very successful. It's like, wow. you know, they didn't need schooling. They needed hands-on. Right. I agree. I agree. I wish more people would do that. 